Obelisk in Delémont in Switzerland. Okay, there you go, it's on. <laughs> You're on TV now. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I would just know, not know what to say. There's some real good Fuck English you, people here. The, the guy is German here, very nice. Taking me a bit. Helping a leg, helping a leg through uh, the old front here. <laughs> Key here, she's an artist as well, photographer. Oh, she, just, she just took a real good picture of me with the barbed wire uh, in front of the tunnel. I did. <laughs> he was getting very, very feisty in front of the lens. <laughs> so, uh, anger and empowerment was coming out. Angst upon the government. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. So Mary Jane, she's a singer, and uh, yeah, Mary Jane is my mother. Oh, it's your mother, yeah. Yeah, I'm Keith Jill, the singer. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> the camera is turning. I had a, uh, yeah, we were just discussing, I had a um, very strange brief evening singing in a Freemason's lodge, which uh, my my mother's boyfriend was Freemason, and he asked me, he said he'd pay me, I was, uh, I think maybe about 15 years old at the time, he said that he would pay me to sing, and I thought, oh yeah, of course, I'm going to get paid and whatever, I don't really care, I'm a singer, I'll sing and, sing, sing and dance wherever I bloody want if I'm getting paid, so I went. I went for the evening and I thought the, the, the whole big thing, I always used to bully him, I thought it was quite a huge joke. I used to take, take the piss out of him and say like, oh, your Dungeons and Dragons club, like, and uh, yeah, when, when I actually went there, uh, you know, I'd sang in front of maybe like 60 well-dressed men or a table and then I immediately after I sang had to leave the room, but it was always in a, in a grand, grand building and they always, he always had to learn passages to recite and then they'd, uh, I remember like once a month or so they'd change, uh, one would be the master or wait a year and someone would be a master and one time um, this said man relation of uh, my mother became the master of the lodge and he uh, you know, came home with like swords and, and things like this to, to collect and and uh, one time me and my mother actually went um, into the main Freemasonry room, which I don't believe is probably allowed in any way or form, but I really don't give a shit. But we went in and it was just, um, it was very strange. It was very, it's almost like a little creepy surrealist cave, but I don't know, not that nice. It didn't disturb me in any way because I don't take it uh, fully, immensely, seriously, but yeah, there's the uh, all-seeing eye, which is always watching down on us, apparently. Up, uh, painted upon the ceiling, and the whole ceiling was painted, and everything was with such an excess grandeur, and a, a big throne for the, for the master to sit on. But yeah, I think we might have even uh, sat on the throne. Do you know, my curse for life. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting one. <laughs> oh, maybe you were lucky you're still alive. Oh yeah, I hope so. <laughs> With all the swords and well, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> takes takes more than that to break a woman in this century, in this day and age, darling. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, Key. Very interesting. <laughs> Pleasure. I'm glad I could contribute to your journey. So this too is in Delémont in Switzerland. Look, it's very. There's the Grail here. All sorts of stuff on it. Sun Euroglyph, pyramid. It's all full of it, they're not, and it's new, you know. They know exactly what they're doing here. Yeah, it's very occult. Here too, even there. So this is the train station here in Delimont. <laughs> <laughs> 